Hi there, I'm GCC librarian Claire Lobdell and I wanted to make this video today to tell you about a bibliographic software that I like called mybib.com. This is a tool that you can use to create your bibliographies in MLA, APA, or other citation formats. And the reason that I like this one as opposed to some of the other ones that are out there is that it's ad free. You don't have to pay extra in order to get some of the features that in other bibliographic tools um, are considered like premium features. You also don't even have to create an account. You can if you want, and if you create an account, it will save your previous sources that you've added, but you're also able to use it anonymously and still do the same things. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so I can show you how to use it. All right, I'm going to go to mybib.com. And this is what the website looks like. Up in the right hand corner, there's the option to log in and create an account, but as I said, you don't have to. If you want to add things to this, you can go to create citation and it will import citations for you for some formats. Um, for others, you'll have to add more. It doesn't do absolutely everything for you. You still have to do some work, but the nice thing about this software is that it like it will spit out a citation that's like formatted right for MLA or APA, um, you know, with the italics in the right place, the punctuation in the right place, all the different pieces of it, um, you know, author, title, chapter, journal title, all that stuff where it's supposed to go. All right, so the first thing that I want to enter is a website. It's this webpage from PolitiFact about fact-checking the Gordon Sondland impeachment hearings. I'm going to copy and paste the URL, and then here, um, click to create citation. I'm going to add a website. I'm going to paste the URL there, search for it, and this is the one that I want to use. Um, you'll see that there's something called credibility checker here. It's saying proceed with caution. Um, my bib runs all of the sources that you input, so like books, book titles, publication lists, websites against a list of sources that it's familiar with. Um, it's a cool feature, but I would say use your own judgment because it doesn't know everything. All right, so I'm going to add this, and it says, oh, we couldn't detect a web page author. But when I look back here, I'll see that this was actually written by two people, Lewis Jacobs, Jacobson and Bill McCarthy. So I'm going to add those names. I also noticed that it doesn't have the full publication date. Um, but when I look back on the web page, it was published on November 20th. So I'm going to put that in. And then I viewed it today, so I'm going to add that as the access date. Click Save, and there is my citation. I'm going to add one for a journal article that I was looking at called Filter Bubbles, Echo Chambers, and Online News Consumption. I'm going to copy that title and under the journal tab I'm going to paste that title search for it and this first one is that article I was looking at so I'm going to add that and everything looks good so I'm gonna click Save finally I want to add a book that I've been reading called automating inequality I'm going to search for it, and this first one by Virginia Eubanks is the book that I was reading. It says it couldn't detect a publisher, but luckily I have the book right here, so I can look and see that it was published by St. Martin's Press. I'm going to put that in. Also, sometimes when this imports titles, it puts them in all caps, but 
almost every citation style does not want you to put things in all caps unless for some reason the original source was in all capital letters. So I'm going to change this to not all caps and again click save and there are my citations. You'll see that you know website, book, journal, video, um, those are the, the like featured formats, but you can enter a lot of other things, um, artwork, legislation, ebooks, conference papers, book chapters. Um, for some of these, you're going to have to do more of the work yourself. Like, so for example, for legislation, um, if I wanted to enter this bill that's in Congress as one of my sources, I would have to type in more of those by myself. But the option is still there and it's still going to format it right. So in my citation list, this top line is what would go in the bibliography and then underneath you can see what an in-text citation would look like for that. Right now, these are displayed in MLA format. If I wanna change it to APA format, I'm gonna go up here, click on where, that, where it says MLA and I'm gonna just change it to APA instead. And then I can go ahead and copy and paste my references list. I can either export it as a document, email it to myself, or copy and paste it. One of the things I really like about this is that it even formats the heading the way it should be for this citation style. So for APA, APA headings, um, for bibliography pages say references. Um, I can click to copy that and then paste it right into my document. Um, for MLA, you can see when I format that, it says works cited at the top, which is what you put at the top of an MLA citation page. Um, this has just been a quick overview. If you have questions about how to use this, or if you want one of the GCC librarians to check over your references list in your paper before you turn it in, we are always happy to do that. Um, you can also email us at GCC, uh, at reference at gcc.mass.edu. Thanks so much for watching.